Hi, I'm John Montgomery. I'm Global EVP of Brand Safety at Group M. So what we are doing differently about brand safety is that firstly, it's me. I'm the, uh, the person who's responsible for that. I think we've, we've uh, appointed somebody senior into this position. I used to run uh, digital operations for North America. And because we felt that brand safety issues and visibility and transparency into the digital supply chain were so important, not just in, 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 in North America, but globally, they've appointed me to literally look after that. I don't believe any other agency, agency chain has done that. But that's only a real small part of it. For the last five or six years, we've been focused on areas like minimizing fraud, maximizing viewability, addressing ad blocking, making sure that our clients' ads don't appear on piracy sites. So there's a brand safety is a sort of a broad swath of making sure that our clients' risks are mitigated in the entire digital supply chain, which has become really complex and very exciting, very efficient and very targeted. But along with those, uh, those opportunities have come some risks. <laughs> Gabe asked me the question about whether this was a real job and, and, and of course um, because of the activity that, uh, that happened we, we felt that this was going to be really important. But with people like um, Mark Pritchard's call to arms at the, I, at the IAB conference and with those shocking headlines in the, um, in, in the London Times, I think that right now there's probably few things in advertising that are as important as uh, CMOs keeping their brand safe. So I've been kept extremely busy. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> There's a real level of discomfort now from our clients about not having visibility and transparency into that part of the, of the supply chain. It's a tricky one. I mean, those are all such powerful media and, and, uh, and it's so important for our brands to be using those media. We're having, I think, every client is telling us to have serious conversations with all of the, uh, the, uh, the media that, have a world, that, that are in a world garden, media like Google, Facebook. And uh, so we've been, we've been having these discussions with, you know, with them for some time. But I think that two catalysts, one of them is Mark's um, kind of, his uncomfortable assertion that this is a murky area and that's a sometimes a fraudulent area. Nobody wants to be known to be an industry that's murky. You don't want those words to be associated with, uh, with, with our industry. And I, I think that'll be a catalyst. It'll be a call to arms for us all to, to make sure that those, those conversations are, are, are just go up a notch. And then areas like uh, contextual brand safety that have come to, come to the fore with uh, the, the, the Times of London. Clients can't afford those, those risks any longer. And I think that ultimately, they'll have to make a decision about whether they move money away from some of those world gardens until those risks, until they feel that those risks are addressed or mitigated, or until they've got visibility into the supply chain. I know that those things are being considered now because it's become such a serious issue. Yeah, you know, I think one of the things that we're trying to evangelize is to try and change the measurement standard from raw impressions like CPMs, which are being driven down all the time. A low CPM is a good CPM kind of uh, mentality. We want that conversation to change to a more quality metric, that an ad that isn't seen by a real human being has no value. So why are we counting them into our CPMs? What we're encouraging our clients to do, and they're being very responsive to this, is to start measuring against a cost per human viewable impression rather than just a cost per impression. That means that your ad is fraud free, it's been seen by a human being, and it's in fact been seen in a, in a, in a viewable frame. That's one of the things that we're, uh, we're evangelizing right now. If we do that, then I think it changes the conversation from just trying to drive the costs as low as possible to try and keep the quality up at a reasonable cost. Forums like GabCon are terrific because what it does is it allows conversation around these areas. It allows us to uh, different people to air their particular opinions that get heard, that put onto video, people see them, people discuss them. And uh, as we all know, the dialogue is part of the whole transparency and trust process. And that's what makes it so important.